What is with this trend of games just not having opening movies? Alright. <clears throat> I'll expect something, I guess. So, alright. Then just fuck it. Hey, everybody. Rebellion here, and welcome to... 13 Sentinels. Aegis Rim. I'm assuming Anime Pacific Rim, and something else. It was put into a vote, and Angelo won this via landslide. It was Angelo's requested game, and it beat every single other game head and shoulders. What do I know about this game? Uh, I hear it's not exactly a long game, to be to be honest. So that's kind of why I put that's kind of why I put it on the list because this game's gonna have probably three streams before we go on break and forget anything. So hopefully, it's not too complicated. Hopefully. So let's see, what the hell is this? Cause I've never heard of it at all. Please select an audio. Audio language can be changed at any time, change at any time in the options menu. I'm pretty sure considering most of us understand English, we'll go for that, but I reserve the right to change it if the, if the dub is not great. And I don't mean Chaos War is bad, because that will be kept. That will be kept. I mean just subpar. I'd rather listen to a good Japanese dub than a meh English dub. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Cho, destroying everything in its path. Has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. As you said, a kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago.
That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but... How's this? Alright then. Tutorial. Attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over the pilot and select with X. Once the menu's option menu's open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm-mounted machine cannons. Oh, is this real time? Oh, shit. Is it real time until I like, give him an order or something? Select action and destroy the enemy using multi-rocket launches. Adjust the attack range with the L analog stick, circling motion like that, to target as many enemies as possible. Stay calm. I guess I'm out of range for them, so they're not attacking me instantly. A hundred of whatever that is. Oh, I'll give you a little screen of like what it's gonna do. Just go pew pew. Oh, free range. Nice. Then I guess just all the worker bots. So we got mechas, we got girls piloting mechas, girls piloting mechas while naked, and now we have amnesia as another thing to add to that list, and what is this game going to do to us? Select action, then select heavy knuckles. Use the left analog stick to attack the enemies in front of you while moving, in, while moving around. Just saying, this game's everything. What now? Heavy punchy. Okay, you're restricted to the to my uh, walkways. Then we can't walk over buildings, no matter how much we can shoot them. That hit. Bop. Got him. What a pilot! That really isn't easy, me. But how? Did we do it? Jiro Karabe's story is now available. Oh, 
Oh god, this straight up is Odin spheres them up. There's actually a couple of characters, aren't there? Right. the controls. Use left analog stick to move and press X to people. To talk to people. To people as well, yes. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Thought Cloud. Sometimes, when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the thought cloud and select it and contemplate keywords. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Hey. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? We now learn that our main character is a stand-in for Angelo. Thought Cloud. Some keywords can be used on other characters. When this option is available, a triangle will appear above their head. Oh, it actually even draws a line, too. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing this stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Or circle to move faster. fugisaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Movie. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Dude. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? <laughs> Really? No, one video! Yep. Gonna rent it? I've got to! Oh, crap. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Wait, no! No, dude, no! No! <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. G Savior, I understand all so well. Can I talk to her again? Hey, Furisaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? So 
sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Why does that voice sound familiar? Yeah, then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. Uh, sorry for you, Sakasan. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. It's tough to get off. Wait, is he leaving? No! Damn it. Fine, we'll leave. What? I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. Who are you? I love the view from the old classroom. It's. The new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. That's strange, like, to just walk through the foreground and background like that. Everyone's training hard with their teams. They're really supporting one another. It's hard to tell what's the main character and what isn't, because everything's so stylized. It's about time for me to go home. Are you someone I can talk to? Can I just... Oh, yeah, I can just get in front of her. Your view is blocked by me. Alright. Let's get out of here then. How, how do I get out? Okay, there's But seriously, Amiguchi. We gotta catch that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Oh yeah, he's fucking rich. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right! He was there during break, too. Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? And the TV for each one of them. <laughs> Goddamn. That's beyond wealthy, my dude. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. Alright. Is this it? I yes, that's right. Please take care of it. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Alright, this one's my bag. Initial controls. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Fast forwarding will automatically pause on unread text. Press the touchpad to view the text log. Press options to pa uh, options to pause m uh, menu to select manual and view controls. You can just save whenever, I guess. Let's make our first actual save. That's not an auto save then. That two percent scares me.
Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. There's one prediction I can make incredibly safely. Out of the nerf, nurse is either a cool elder man with glasses or a female with overly suggestive uniform. Ask to follow the anime tropes. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Not exactly overly suggestive, but god damn they're out there. Talk to her first. What brings you here? This one doesn't have a triangle, so I can't do anything with it. So I guess I have to talk about the stack of papers then. I think you forgot these. Oh my! You brought them back for me. I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. That little blush. Not even attempting to make eye contact. One more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? <laughs> headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. Drugs. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Was there something else you needed? Miss Morimura? Have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. I actually didn't even think there was anything left to say, but all right. I guess it makes sense to double check everything you can. Well, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. <sighs> What's up, my dude? Something wrong? Mm, we couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. <laughs> it's a real masterpiece from 74. God damn it. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? I'm getting huge Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla vibes. A 
a sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. I feel like it's Godzilla, but I'm not sure. Is there anyone else here to talk to? You don't know that. Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll Come on, Juro. Let's crowd. go home. <laughs> Hold up, they're talking. Any more? Anything else to say? Come on, anything Alright, fine. No more dialogue. The sentinel isn't responding. The Aracuna? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. I want it. Dude, dude, hold up. Miura-kun. Sure, uh, kun What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Why do you have bandages for legs? That's a side character trope. Normally not a friendly one. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? Activation protocol. Well, this will be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shiba Kun? <laughs> prologue to prologue. Oh god, they're gonna be branching paths. Mystery files obtained eight, and event archives obtained four. All right. Your Fuyusaka story is now available as well. Oh, yeah, animate. So animate. I'm late. I'm late. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Almost there. <laughs> Ow. Hey, you all right? That's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. <sighs> Wait, are you? this a student ID first year Niori Fuyusaka hmm. might be worth looking into
class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyasaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Yuachan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. It's sort of just hitting me. This is going to be a vision novel with random mech battles. Nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Name's Shane of the end, since everything so far has been voiced. Correct. But who knows when the budget's gonna run out. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so. Geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. I mean, destined encounters only happen in anime format if you run into them with toast in the mouth. That's a telltale guy right th thing right there. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. God damn it. Can I talk to you? None of that. Oh. You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really, it's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? 
some gas, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. <laughs> All right, hold up. This school is so old; it still uses hanging lamps. Oh wow! See that every day. I actually didn't notice those. God, what the? Why hanging lamps? Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Is it your class next door, Notchan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Ah, we're all friends. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. Give me the topic on the cat, please. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. How's it going, MK fan? Welcome to the stream. Guess that nap did her some good. Welcome to this game of I am incredibly confused for the moment. God, this place is old. <gasps> Kitty! I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? I wonder what. <gasps> it's fluffy. Approach slowly. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. What? You feel it, right? What? 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 I want to pursue this with you. What? Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyu <laughs> What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm, I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Strange dream. Hold up. Hold up. We gotta. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Now we talk about them. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. 
but they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? There's that mark. Whenever I think my heart stupids like love, if I said that, would he laugh at me? This is the only one that I have not been able to use yet or talk about, but... Oh, wait, that that was it? You need to do that one twice. God damn it, to remember the mark on the top right. Okay. Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. Strived. What's this game about, Rep? Chat? We don't know yet. To list the tropes that we've found so far, we have... Uh, what's it called? Teenagers piling mechs. Mechs in general, kaiju, mechs fighting kaiju, anim anime girl running late to school with toast in her mouth, running into someone, showing the guy his panty, her panties, love at first sight, chasing a cat behind the school building, and now a misunderstanding involving a gay relationship between two guys. This game has a lot of things. We're checking a lot of these boxes. Someone should probably make a bingo card for this. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. So far, we've seen only one person, or two people piloting the mechas. And that was 14%, huh. Beginning of the end. Episode two. Wave two. Are we going, oh, we're going back to the, to the first part that we were doing, the fighting. Below. 
below that point. Hmm. Make your way toward the terminal, which is the invader's target. Choose the sentinel and select move from the menu. Use the left analog stick to move the cursor where you want to go, and then press X to start moving. We can do this, right? How far away can I? Oh, wow, you can just straight up move wherever you want. Number 15, moving out. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's real time as long Number as 13. no one's moving. queued up in action. Tutorial. Lost condition. You must protect the Aegis terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown on the top left of the screen. If this defense gauge is depleted, or even if you even if one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Switching pilots. You can switch pilots your control with the left and right, uh, right D-pad. Changing up pilots depending on the situation. What now? First off, you need to actually get in position right here to defend from this air from this flank because I'm pretty sure they have to make it to you. What's that? Oh wait, you could oh we are <laughs> this is just straight up a tower defense now. Place a small railgun at a uh, target area. Auto fires on ka on kaiju. So if we have a group right there, why the hell not just sort of eliminate that group? Are you a mi Oh, you're a brawler. Okay, not really, actually, but... Well, if this costs nothing, then I'm gonna use this a bit to see what kind of damage it can do. How's that? Nice. We still have one left here. Does fire rocket punches? We don't know yet. We haven't found anyone that has rocket punch yet, I believe. Focus. Boop. Damn. <laughs> That's nice. Fuck him up. Oh, that sentinel's nice. Or that little turret. Aegis activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's sentinel number 12. Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama? You were with Okino kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. <laughs> God damn it, of course. Takatoshi. Hijiyama's story is now available.
And you still can't, like, select another character yet. You just sort of get this. So, hold up. Wait. Like, she had 14%, he had 2%, and other percentages here are 5 and 2. How far is, or how long is this game? Because these numbers are not adding up. All right. 